Today on Two Crazy Ketos, we're going to take a look at a true keto bread. We are about to get toasty right, right after, after this. this. What's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos. We do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Yeah. So today we're going to take a look at some bread products from a company called Fox Hills Kitchen. I am so excited because bagels. Bagels. I mean, I miss bagels, honestly, because we can make our own muffins and we can make our own, you know, different kinds of breads. But bagels have been tricky. Yeah, we've tried making them and they just weren't the same. Now, the reason I'm saying this is a true keto bread is because, yes, there are a lot of keto friendly bread options on the market i mean you can go to all these and sprouts and and there's lots of different bread options out there but when you take a look at the ingredients on a lot of those not great they're not super great a lot of them still have some grains in them i've even seen some of them with like wheat in them and they're saying that they're keto because they're low carb but it's still wheat which is going to be inflammatory and uh, that's personally not for me no. So these are incredible because the ingredients, which we'll get into all of the ingredients in our five things review, but all of the ingredients that comprise these breads are completely keto friendly. There is no starches in it. There is no, you know, um, whole wheats and stuff like that in it. It's all keto friendly stuff. And it's kind of amazing because they really taste authentic we tasted well not we haven't tasted the bagels but we had tasted the croutons when we went to KetoCon last year and i almost couldn't believe it yeah because they are so tasty and so crunchy just like you want a crouton to be yeah so here's what we're gonna do we have a couple of different things here we have the croutons obviously then we have this is uh small buns like little mini ham hamburger buns or sandwich buns we have everything bagels that's what i'm really excited and then about. we have large buns like for large hamburger buns rachel and in, buns and in addition to that i'm looking on their website behind us they also have sesame bagels and they have something called donut uh, bagel holes which are like little mini almost like oh, rolls or something like the like middle that. yeah so that's what we have so what we're gonna do is when you get these they tell you to put them immediately into the freezer to preserve them because again no preservatives so Just what good. are we gonna try I've got to have some bagel. We're gonna try the bagel. Do we want to try anything else? We'll try obviously the croutons. Croutons. So how about we do like the small roll? The small, small roll buns. and the large roll bun are gonna be the same taste. So what we're gonna do is we're going to go toast up a bagel. Toast my bagel. Defrost because we've had these in the freezer. Mm -hmm. Defrost one of the rolls, and we will be right back with a taste test and our five things review. Okay. Bagel time. Bagel time. I love bagels. Let's put these to the side. So let's go over what we exact have before we even start eating them. Okay, so let's open up the large buns. Just so you guys have an idea. This is the large bun. And then this is the small bun. My buns are larger. <laughs> so you can see um, pretty much this one's a little bit thicker. And obviously a little bit larger. So this is great for a hamburger. This is even yeah. good for a hamburger too. Oh, absolutely. Okay, so that's the difference. We didn't uh, actually Do they come sliced? That one. No, they don't come sliced. But, but they've they, got a nice feel. I had them frozen. So you can slice it frozen. And it literally defrosts in a couple seconds. I mean, these have only been out of the freezer for like five minutes. And you can already see that they're defrosting. Oh, yeah. So if you don't want to toast it, you don't have to. As a matter of fact, the bun, I just kind of warmed up in the microwave for like 20 seconds. Okay, so then we'll open up these croutons. These were very flavorful, as I remember. And here's the croutons. So that's the crouton. And we can actually... Nice snap. They well, since I snapped that, you want to let me taste that right there? They remind me a lot visually of the ones you used to get at um, Outback yeah. Steakhouse, right? That yeah. darker colored crouton. Oh, wow. Ma'am. That's better than I remember. 
You wouldn't even know that's bread. That's not no, regular bread. I'm going back in. That's got a nice flavor to it. Come on, go ahead. We'll get into the that one the in a little crunch. bit. Those are awesome. These will make a really good stuffing. Mm-hmm. Okay. So we've got, here's the roll. Here's the bagel, which we've toasted. So I'm gonna put it back together so you can see this here. So that's the bagel. This is an everything bagel. And then that's it sliced on the inside. Now it does have a slight purple color to it. Mm -hmm. And I think it's because they have psyllium husk in it. Yeah. But there is a slight color. So I figured I got a little bit of cream cheese here. Do this bagel up if right. If you wanna just taste it with some cream cheese. It's spreading on it like a bagel. I'm not even gonna eat the whole thing because I plan on eating a bunch of this stuff. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna try one side just by itself and then one side with cream cheese. Good idea. It's good. That's really good. Mm-hmm. Awesome with the cream cheese. Cream cheese. Mm-hmm. But cream cheese makes everything better. Now, I will say this. It's very airy. It's not that dense bagel that you're used to pre-keto. Mm -hmm. It is very airy. The everything bagel seasoning just makes it. It reminds me a lot more of like a wheat bagel. Yeah. Rather than um, like the, you know, the white What I'm thinking is bagel. it's more of a texture of an English muffin. Yes. It's got a little bit more of a texture of an English muffin. Yeah. Let's go ahead and try this roll. So here's your roll. And again, I didn't slice it. I can see that purple color you're talking about. You can see that inside. It's like lavender. Here you go. The key is, will this make a good, I'm actually gonna put a little bit more of my cream cheese on there. Will this make a good hamburger bun? Yeah. Mm hmm It would make a really good hamburger bun because you can tell it's gonna hold up. Yeah. Wow. Like I love the smart buns, mm -hmm. but they fall apart very easily when you start putting your hamburger and stuff on there. These are not gonna fall apart. A little bit more chewy. Wow. That is awesome. Again, English muffin is a great way to describe it. Yeah. So this is gonna make a great breakfast sandwich too. Yep, I'm just looking at hamburgers. Okay, let's, you wanna do our five things? Mm -hmm. So five things. So if you're new to our channel, we review all products based on five things. We're gonna talk about the ingredients, does it keto based on a nutrition label? How does it taste? How much does it cost? And finally, would we recommend it? So let's put this off to the side. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with just uh, taking a look at the croutons, but we'll go through all of them, but they're all gonna be pretty much the same ingredients. Okay, so the ingredients in this are organic coconut flour, blanched almond flour, organic psyllium husk powder, liquid egg whites, organic extra virgin olive oil, avocado oil, starch-free baking powder, water, Himalayan salt, organic garlic granules, yeast, organic apple cider vinegar, organic black pepper. So the first ingredient is coconut flour, but I do not taste anything There's coconut. no coconut flavor at all in there. No. So just taking a look at all the rest of these real quick. So this one on the bagels, the first ingredient is actually liquid egg whites. Then you have coconut flour, water, almond flour, psyllium husk powder, uh, apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, baking powder. Then you have your poppy seeds, sesame seeds, Himalayan salt, uh, and minced onion, all of which is organic. And we, tasty. We do have somebody who's deciding to run around four wheelers and stuff outside the door, so sorry, sorry if that is coming through on the microphones. And then on the buns, egg whites, coconut flour, blanched almond flour, psyllium husk powder, apple cider vinegar, avocado oil, baking powder, Himalayan salt, and yeast. So they all pretty much have the same ingredients. Mm -hmm. The difference is the spices. The order and, and then how much. the breads all have uh, egg whites as the first ingredient, whereas these are later on down the line. So that's the difference. So overall, ingredients are really, really good. Really good. And that's what we're talking about. This compared to like the stuff you're finding in the grocery store where they're adding in potato starches, 
They're adding in still having wheat flours There's and stuff in there. Nothing keeping this shelf stable, no preservatives, nothing that's gonna make this thing like be croutons that live 20 years. Right, everything is keto friendly. So number two, does it keto based on the nutrition label? So again, since we have this one in front of us, so our serving size on this is a quarter of a cup, which is approximately seven grams. And I don't have the scale here, uh, but we can kind of, I can, I can give you an estimate of what a quarter of a cup would be in my hand. That's going to be about a quarter of a cup. Yeah, that's a so respectable amount. How much you would put on a salad? Right. That that's And there's still a lot left in this bag. It's completely dense. This bag is, like, full. you can tell, full to the top. This is not one of those... Potato half, chip bags yeah. that's, like, half full and half air. As a matter of fact, they're saying there's 16 servings in this container. Wow. And, and judging by that, you can... I think there is. So a serving is 35 calories, 2 grams of fat, 2 grams of protein, 2 total carbohydrates... Mm -hmm. Two grams of dietary fiber. Wow. So zero net carbs. And again, looking at everything in it, it's you got psyllium husk powder, all that stuff. That's why it's so low in carbs. Yeah. Now remember though, when you up it, if you're going to have more than a quarter of a cup, if you're going to have more, figure you're adding in carbs. It does go by serving size a little bit because there are some carbs in coconut flour and almond flour. It's just how much is in the tiny serving. Yeah, don't eat the whole bag and be like, well, this was a low calorie treat and right. I had zero carbs. <laughs> you can, and the perfect example is if you take a look at the bagels, the nutrition on this is one bagel, 155 calories, which is 57 grams as opposed to seven grams here as your serving size. It is nine grams of fat, eight grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, nine grams of fiber, so it's two net carbs per, per bagel. bagel. Wow. Which is awesome. That's seriously awesome. And then uh, the rolls, the small rolls, one bun, is uh, 103 calories, five grams of fat, six grams of protein, seven total carbohydrates, seven grams of dietary fiber. Wow. So zero net carbs there. That's amazing. And then obviously these are gonna be, because they're bigger, 154 calories, eight grams of fat, nine grams of protein, 11 total carbohydrates, 10 grams of dietary fiber. So one net carb. So that's what we're showing you is the difference here, right? Same ingredients, smaller one, zero net carbs, larger one, one net carb, smaller one is seven total carbs. This one is 11 total carbs. So just keep that in mind. So just keep that in mind. But what I like about this is it's not like some of the things that I've been seeing in the grocery stores where they're injecting extra thing, fibers and stuff like all of the synthetic fiber in order for us to be able to do the keto math equation yeah everything on there feel free to whether you want to do total carb or net carb it's all going to be good healthy ingredients and nothing in there that's going to start causing your insulin to spike up out of control or a bunch like of that. inflammation yeah so number three how does it taste incredible they taste really good if you're missing that bread it's got a good flavor sometimes that psyllium husk stuff could kind of be off-putting for example rachel has tried some of the low carb nons like the homemade non recipes and does not like them I at all do not like them and the main ingredient in that is coconut flour and psyllium husk powder and he has tried to cook them every which way yep like and it just hasn't worked for me but this tastes really good now i will say this tastes completely like a crouton again think outback croutons that's what this is it's very flavorful they've seasoned them very well it's delicious and crunchy the bagel tastes a little bit to me like a wheat bagel and definitely leaning more toward the English muffin, yeah. like you were talking about. I think about. it's got the texture of an English muffin. So I don't want you to think, okay, I'm going to have a white plain bagel like I remember. You would be not satisfied with if you were thinking that in your mind, that this right. is how it's going to taste. It's going to taste more like an English muffin and certainly more like a wheat bagel. But it's a bagel. It's much more like bread than anything else that I've tasted. And like you said, I think it's going to hold up. Yeah, it's going to hold to up. To the really food up. you put on it. Okay, so number four, how much does it cost? Okay, here we go. Okay, it's really easy. If you go to their website, everything, $9.99. It's like that shoe store. <laughs> everything is $9.99. So you can get four bagels for $9.99. You can get a bag of croutons for $9.99. You can get four of the large buns 
for $9.99, or you can get six of the small buns for $9.99. Every time you say buns, the only thing I can think about is Sir Mix-a-Lot. <laughs> That's it. Okay, now they did give us a coupon code. It is two crazy ketos. It's going to get you 15% off of your purchase. Mm -hmm. And in addition, she sent me a very important message. Oh. And that is when it comes to shipping. All right. If you order in in a batch of six or 12, so six bags of bagels. Or you're like three bags of bagels and three bags of rolls. Because you can combine them. Yes. If you order six or 12, the shipping is free. Oh. But if you order seven items, three items, nine items, 11 items, the shipping is not free. Oh. So you need to order. It, I guess it's got to do with weight and the way they can fit it in a box and huh. all that other stuff. So, so batches. So you want to order in a batch of six or in a batch of 12 because that will give you free shipping. Neat. So for example, I actually missed out on it when I ordered mm -hmm. because I ordered four. Four. <laughs> actually, I ordered five because I have two things of croutons. Just this close. So I did not shipping. know that. So she told me that. And I don't even remember seeing that anywhere on the website. Okay. So she did tell me though, order in a batch of six or in a batch of 12, you get free shipping. Save the shipping. Yeah. So so that is uh, how much it costs. I personally think it's a pretty decent price, especially when you consider what the ingredients are. There's no preservatives. You know, it's all good, healthy ingredients. Well, I feel like... If you break it down by serving size, especially like for the croutons, which is something I've really been missing, that's a reasonable amount. Like I can, I can totally budget for that. And I don't have big salads all the time. And personally, what I'm going to tell you, my, I get, we're kind of getting into recommendation, which let's do that. Number five, would we recommend it? Yeah. I would absolutely recommend it. But what I'm going to tell you and what my plan is is the bagels are okay. Mm -hmm. I like the bagels. I probably will order the bagels as a treat once in a while. Yeah. But I'm going to order the small buns over the large buns. Oh. Okay, here's why. Not much Same, bigger. They're not a lot bigger. Same price, but I get six of the small buns. Oh. It's also less total carbs. I'm not worried about the net carbs, but I'm looking at seven total carbs or 11 total carbs. Yeah. Okay, this is one net carb. This is zero net carbs, which... I figure, I'm going to figure it's one anyway, but seven total carbs. So, but for the same price, I'm getting two, two extra. extra buns and I'm fine with my hamburger coming out around the outside of that. That wouldn't make me upset at so, all. So who cares if there's more meat than there is bun, you're still going to get that texture, but that would be how I would order it only because I feel like I'm getting a better value. You're yeah. getting the same amount of weight. But you're not going to cut this in half and only eat half now and half tomorrow. You're going to get like more that. servings. So you're going to get more servings with that. And these are an absolute must. Well, Especially if you want to do stuffing. You totally have hurt yourself, sir. Because we have done a lot of stuffings over I have the tried last to make years, bread for stuffing. And it just hasn't worked out right. Right. And I feel like I think we finally got it. <laughs> Right? Because these are the cubed stuffing that you would use to make it. Yeah. I think it's going to come out way better. <laughs> well, that is our video for today. Let us know down in the comment section if you have ever tried the Fox Hill Kitchen's breads. And if you have, what product, which one of the products do you use? Do you get the bagels? Do you get the bread? Do you get it all? I mean, let us know down in the comment section. So, like I said, that's our video for today. Please do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.